Hey guys, welcome back to my little channel. Today I am gonna do something a little bit different with you guys. As you probably saw by the title of this uh, video, I am going to take the autism spectrum quotient test with you guys today. And why am I doing that? Well, I never really thought that I was autistic or that I was on the autist autism spectrum, but I know that I've always been different and there are certain things that um, has been very difficult for me throughout my life that might be seen as classic traits of someone who has autism, um, like uh, communicating, um, relationships and uh, like social anxiety and stuff like that, like social situations and interactions between people in general has always been a little iffy. I don't know. can't really put my finger on it, but a little while ago, my boyfriend did the same thing. He took this test uh, on a video on his channel. He most likely has some autistic traits or like he's most likely on the spectrum, uh, but it made me really curious. And I have actually taken this test once before, but that's, that's like a few years ago now. And I just got really inspired to do it again with you guys. Anyone can go take this test. It is open, free on the internet. You'll find it just by Googling. And uh, of course, uh, have fun. Just keep in mind that this is not a way to get a diagnosis. It's not like you can take this test and if you get a high score, that means that, oh, you're, you're autistic or you're on a spectrum. Uh, of course, it might indicate something. So like if you get a high score on this, still you would have to be evaluated by a professional to get a diagnosis. Just uh, keep that in mind. This is just for indication and for having fun as for now at least. We're gonna go through all the questions and you're gonna see what I answer and see what score I end up with. So let's go to the test. For each statement below, choose one response that best describes how strongly that statement applies to you. Okay, so we have definitely agree, slightly agree, slightly disagree, and definitely disagree. Number one, I prefer to do things with others rather than on my own. <laughs> um, I have to say, I definitely agree. I am one of those persons who I'm just a total control freak. So I prefer to do stuff on my own. I can work with others fine, but I just find that I like to do things my way. I usually have a way that I think is the best way to do it. So uh, usually I prefer to do things on my own, actually, yeah. Two, I prefer to do things the same way over and over again. <laughs> that depends on the thing. But if we're talking like in normal life, like in everyday uh, routines and stuff like that, I definitely enjoy finding the best method of doing a thing. And then I would do that every time over and over again. So I guess I think I'm going to go with definitely agree. I know myself and I do like to have a routine. Three, if I try to imagine something, I find it very easy to create a picture in my mind. Oh, I guess somewhat. Yeah, I think I slightly agree. Uh, to some extent, I would be able to. Yeah, I think so. I frequently get so strongly absorbed in one thing that I lose sight of other things. Oh my God, that is so me. I would just get obsessed with one thing and just do that and only that thing and would like totally lose grip on everything else. That is very typical of me. And it's very annoying sometimes. Five, I often notice small sounds when others do not. Ooh, uh, I really do know that I am very sensitive to sounds. Like I I usually 
can't sleep if there are like weird noises or like uh, when I lived in a city, if a neighbor had a party or something like that, like noise, I, I, I would I hate it and I would just totally obsess on it. And so I know that I like I am a little sensitive to sounds and like noises, but I, yeah, so slightly agree. Six, I usually notice car number plates or similar strings of information. No, I don't. I'm very, very bad with numbers, like in general. Um, I, I, my work, my brain does not work with numbers. I have, I have like a, a thing, like dyslexia, just only with numbers. I think that's the thing. If I don't, if I remember correctly, um, but I know that I'm very observant. Like I remember details that other people don't. So I don't know if that is what they're asking for or if it's like numbers and stuff like that, like specifically and similar strings of information. Uh, definitely disagree, I think. Seven, other people frequently tell me that what I've said is impolite, even though I think it is polite. No. But... I know that my antennas are kind of off sometimes, and I do know that I can be very awkward at times in social situations uh, and kind of say stuff that's a bit weird. I don't know. Um, but no, people do not tell me frequently that I've said something that's impolite. No, I think, uh, no, no. I don't think so. Eight. When I'm reading a story, I can easily imagine what the characters might look like. Hmm. Mm, well, to a certain degree. Yeah, I think so. I'm fascinated by dates. Hmm. Nope. No, nope, not at all. In a social group, I can easily keep track of several different people's conversations. Oh, um, that is hard. But no, I don't think I'm very good at that. I find it a bit daunting when there's a lot of people and a lot of conversations going at once. I do find that a bit difficult and uh, very... Um, exhausting to be honest I just I, I, I kind of oh no I, I hate that oh I'm just like just thinking of like social situations like that I'm just going oh, in my head um I find that very exhausting uh I can easily keep track of several people's different I slightly disagree I don't like not easily no I find social situations easy no definitely disagree Oh, I, I hate social situations in general. I find it very exhausting and very difficult. And I just feel so stupid. And I have a lot of anxiety around people. Um, even though I, many times people don't really get that vibe from me, but it's because I'm very like good at just talking and pretending to be comfortable <laughs> when I'm really am not. And I tend to just say a, like, a lot of weird stuff and I don't know I just know I, I social situations are not easy at all I tend to notice details that others others do not yes that is that is true that is a, yeah that's more of what I said earlier right because I do that I know that I do that I'm very observant when it comes to like weirdo details um that no one else remembers yeah I do that I would rather go to a library than to a party. Oh, definitely. Definitely. I don't like going to parties at all. I, f I find that exhausting. And a library sounds awesome. Like a quiet place uh, where you have like all kinds of like information, computers, whatever. I have my phone. It's no, that is perfect. I would rather go, much rather go to a library than to a party. I find making up stories easy. Uh, 
making up stories. No, I don't think I find it easy to make up stories. Not too bad, I guess, but no, I don't find it easy, no. 15. I find myself drawn more strongly to people than to things. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not drawn to people. Like, I'm appalled by people, <laughs> basically. Um, no, I'm not a very social person. I don't like being social in general. And uh, I have an obsession of for things sometimes. I, I have a tendency to, to just really get obsessed with stuff. Yeah. 16. I tend to have very strong interests, which I get upset about if I can't pursue. Yeah. Definitely agree. I have some really strong interests, um, and I do get upset when I can't pursue them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is that is true. Um, and there are a lot of like different reasons for why I wouldn't be able to, and most of most of my issues with that are like with my health, with my mental health and stuff like that. Because I, I uh, do have problems with concentrating and I do have problems with, uh, with working. And uh, uh, yeah, well, anyways, uh, that means that I can't pursue my passions and my strong interests as much as I would like to. And that does upset me for sure. I enjoy social chit-chat. Oh my god, I definitely disagree. I hate social chit-chat. It is so freaking uncomfortable. I, no, disagree. 18, when I talk, it isn't always easy for others to get a word in edgewise. Ah, um, <laughs> as I mentioned, like, I get really awkward sometimes in social situations and I tend to just kind of bleh, like really talk and it uh, sometimes I think I can talk a bit too much <laughs> and just like yeah a little bit I think sometimes but so yeah I slightly agree. I'm fascinated by numbers. Um, well, yes and no. Uh, I mean, as I said, I have difficulty with numbers. So so math is hard for me. But at the same time, I do find numbers very fascinating. And I do find math very fascinating. I just can't do it. <laughs> uh, so I am fascinated by numbers but not like to an extreme degree, slightly agree then. 20, when I'm reading a story, I find it difficult to work out the character's intentions. Hmm, that depends on the story though. I mean, some some stories are just so obvious, you know? Um, sometimes if it's very like in between the lines and stuff, I, I, I tend to have difficulty with that, but no, slightly. Disagree. I don't particularly enjoy reading fiction. Um, and when I, like, it says reading and I, I never read stuff. I hate reading. But um, <laughs> but um, I guess that applies to other, like, things as well. Like reading or whether it's an audiobook or whether it's reading. I guess that's kind of like the same thing. I don't like fiction as much. I don't. I prefer reality to fiction <laughs> and facts and science. So yeah, I don't particularly enjoy reading fiction. I agree. 22, I find it hard to make new friends. Oh God, yes, I do. I definitely agree. I find it very hard to make friends. I find it so awkward and hard and yeah, no, I do not easily make new friends. I notice patterns in things all the time. Well, uh, we all do. That's kind of what our brain does, but um, not like in a very extreme degree. I, I don't think it was. Sorry that I keep scrolling up and down here. I'm just um, I notice patterns in things all the time. No, I don't think I do that all the time. 24. 
I would rather go to the theater than to a museum. Oh, that's a hard one, actually. Well, let me think. I could really enjoy both of that. No. Well, I love going to museums. Like when I visit other cities, stuff like that, that is always stuff that I do. Like I will always seek out fun museums. And I, I like I do like some theater th stuff, but I mostly don't like it because it's so crowded and and kind of boring many times. So no, I would much rather go to a museum. 25. It does not upset me if my daily routine is disturbed. Slightly disagree because, well, I do disagree because I, I hate it when my routines are disturbed. Um, and especially if my like plans are disturbed, if I have to change my plans or stuff does not happen in the order or the way that I saw it happening or like thought it would go like I hate that so yeah that can give me real bad anxiety actually um yeah I, I disagree definitely I frequently find that I don't know how to keep a conversation going well mm, no actually I am usually pretty good at that um I'm as I said I'm just good at like just talking so I just talk. I find it easy to read between the lines when someone is talking to me. Oh no, I think I'm really bad at that actually. I'm like, I would never understand. <laughs> I have, no, I, I'm, I have huge problems with actually interpreting what people are meaning or like interpreting their intentions or feelings that can be a really problem that can be a huge uh, deal for me actually uh, and I find it quite hard uh, if I don't know the person I, I do get a bit confused by that so uh, I definitely don't really find it easy like if someone was flirting with me I would I would definitely just not understand that they are flirting because I wouldn't think that they would want to flirt with me. It's like I, this, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I, yeah, it's hard. I find it easy to read between the lines. No, I disagree. Slightly disagree, I guess. 28, I usually concentrate more on the whole picture rather than the small details. Ooh, that's a hard one because I am very... That depends, depends on, depends on what I'm doing, because if I'm working on something that I am notoriously obsessed by the details, by the small details, and it's, I don't know if I can brag about being that great at looking at the whole picture all the time. I try to, but I know... On the other hand, that I am very, very obsessed with details. Okay, so I, I slightly disagree. I'm not very good at remembering phone numbers. Actually, I was very good at remembering phone numbers back in the day where you had to remember phone numbers. I was quite good at that. And I would never really just... I wouldn't remember the number. I would remember either like the pattern in... Uh, the pattern of the number on the dial or uh, the, the sound of the numbers. Like it's when you said the number out loud, it would like be a specific melody. I would remember it kind of like a song. I'm not very good at it. I slightly agree. I don't usually notice small changes in a situation or a person's appearance. I do. I notice that very, very uh, easily. Actually, I'm as 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 I said, I am kind of obsessed with details, and I'm very observant. And I actually kind of always know if something has been like moved, or changed, or yeah. I definitely disagree. I need to remember to scroll. Sorry, guys. I know how to tell if someone listening to me is getting bored. I don't know. I don't think I know that. Do I know how to tell if someone is getting bored by listening to me? I don't think I know that. Maybe they are getting bored. Oh my God. 
They probably are. I slightly disagree because I don't really know that. I find it easy to do more than one thing at once. Yeah. Slightly. I find it easy to do more than one thing at once. Well, it kind of depends, doesn't it? But uh, I guess I slightly agree. When I talk on the phone, I am not sure when it's my turn to speak. Oh, I hate that. Yes, definitely agree. I hate talking on the phone. I hate talking on the phone. It's I, I never call people and I usually don't answer the phone. Luckily, people don't really call me much. So I enjoy doing things spontaneously. No, I do not. I am not a very spontaneous person. I like to plan everything. I am often the last to understand the point of a joke. Actually, that do kind of happens. I just, I just thought that was because I was stupid. Like, <laughs> I didn't get it. Am I stupid? Um, actually, that kind of happens. I slightly agree. I don't know if it's like often, but it does happen. 36. I find it easy to work out what someone is thinking or feeling just by looking at their face. Well, usually I'm pretty good at that. I believe at least that I'm pretty good at that. I I know I'm a very empathetic person. I know I... Oh, that is hard. Hmm. But I, I do slightly agree. Yeah, because I, I do... Actually, I, I find it very easy. Usually, yeah, usually I have no problems with that. If there is an interruption, I can switch back to what I was doing very quickly. No, I struggle with concentrating. I am good at social chit chat. <laughs> That's interesting. I hate it, but I'm not that bad at it because I've like, I've practiced that a lot. So it's not, I, I don't like it, but I am not, horrible at it i slightly agree because i'm like i'm good at it but i'm not like yeah i don't know people often tell me that i keep going on and on about the same thing the problem is that i, I never see people like people these questions are so hard to answer because I, I i'm never social so people don't don't tell me anything it's like people don't tell me that i keep going on and on about the same thing because I never see any people. So it's like, how would I know? Um, if you ask my boyfriend, he would probably say that I do talk about the same things over and over. So maybe I should agree. When I was young, I used to enjoy playing games involving pretending with other children. Yeah, I did that. I like to collect information about categories of things. E.g. types of cards, birds, trains, plants. <laughs> uh, so if I have an interest of something in something, I, I would like collect information about that category. Well, I, I definitely would. I would have to slightly agree. Um, I do like to know stuff about stuff. The stuff that I want to know about, I want to know about, you know. I find it difficult to imagine what it would be like to be someone else. Yeah, I do. I mean, I, what does that mean? Do I find that difficult? I mean, I would never know what it's like to be someone else. I agree that. I have no idea what it would be like to be someone else. I, no, I do not know how to imagine that. Obviously, that is a weird question. I like to carefully plan any activities I participate in. Oh, I strongly agree. I would like to plan everything. I enjoy social occasions. I definitely disagree. I find it difficult to work out people's intentions. I slightly agree. I do think that can be hard. New situations make me anxious. Oh, I definitely agree. I do have a lot of anxiety and new situations. That is definitely one of the things that make me anxious. So yes, definitely. I enjoy meeting new people. No, I don't. That is not something I enjoy. I'm a good diplomat. Actually, I think I am because I'm a pretty rational person and I'm good at seeing 
both sides of things. Is that like bragging if I say I'm definitely a good diplomat? I'll say slightly. I'm not very good at remembering people's date of birth. Actually, I do remember people's date of birth. I'm pretty good at that, I think. No, I think I, I do. I'm not very good. I slightly disagree. I find it very easy to play games with children that involve pretending. Oh my God, I know. No, I definitely disagree. I, I find playing with children and pretending stuff is extremely awkward and uh, I panic. I'm just like, I what the fuck do I say? Uh, it's like, no, I do not find that easy at all. I just feel really, really awkward and... I can get really like anxious because I feel so stupid and I'm just like, how do we do this? How do I, how? I don't know. I don't understand this. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think so. Oh, just alert me. Sorry. Sorry for the scrolling difficult. Whoa. I'm sorry. This is the first time I'm using this software. Okay. Let's see. Score me. My score was 35 out of a possible 50. Okay. That's not too high, is it? So scores in the 33 to 50 range indicate significant autistic traits. Okay, so I do have some autistic traits, I guess, because I'm over 33, but not that much over. So I guess that's like slightly autistic. <laughs> no, but that's probably right. Um, as I said, I, I know I, I do have some of the traits that are associated with autism and being on the spectrum, um, but that might as well uh, be because I have mental health issues that might interfere with these kinds of skills. So I don't know, I am probably not like a typical person that's on the spectrum, but I definitely <laughs> have some of the traits. Are you concerned about your score? No, I'm not. Um, I'm not concerned about my score, even though I scored like inside of the range that indicate significant autistic traits. I wouldn't say that I am concerned at all. So that was the autism spectrum quotient test. Are you on the spectrum yourself or have you taken this test? Uh, please comment below if you have. I would love to hear from you guys and also what you thought about this video. So do you like content like this? Should I keep doing this or maybe reaction or something? Many of you who are watching my videos are not subscribed. So I hope you would consider subscribing and giving this video a like. And I hope to see you again on this channel next time. Bye guys.